Let's see what happens in Dust of Snow by Robert Frost. People do not think much of some birds, like crows. People stay away from certain plants, like hemlock, because it is poisonous. But not everyone. Frost in the poem shows us another side to the crow and the hemlock. Let's see how he does that. The poet is standing under a hemlock tree. Suddenly, a crow scatters some snow on him. Such a simple event changes the mood of the poet. Before this, his day was filled with regrets. But now he feels better. He feels that at least some part of his day is saved. So, while most people only see the crow and hemlock as bad, Frost associates them with simple happiness. Now let us look at the literary elements of the poem, Dust of Snow. In the poem, Frost uses the crow, the hemlock tree and the dust of snow as symbols. Crow and hemlock usually signify something bad, but in the poem, they bring joy to the poet and make him feel better. Frost uses simple imagery like a crow scattering snow from hemlock tree and dust of snow falling on the poet to depict the positive effect of nature on the poet. The way a crow shook down on me the dust of snow from a hemlock tree. The words crow and snow rhyme with each other. The words me and tree also rhyme with each other. So if we assign A to crow and snow and B to me and tree, then the rhyme scheme of the stanza is ABA.